Hey YouTube, welcome back to the channel. So I ordered this car mid-May and took delivery around a month later. I'll leave a link in the description as well as a card up top so you can watch the delivery day video. After taking delivery and after doing my inspections, I realized I forgot two major things. And that was the reported removal of lumbar support in the passenger side of the vehicle, as well as the removal of the radar sensor that enables depth perception. On May 31st, Twitter user Ryan the Nerd tweeted, I really don't like the direction Tesla's going, raising prices of vehicles, but removing features like lumber for the Model Y. On top of rumours of full self-driving increases to 14k without any real added features to FSD unless you're a beta tester. To which Elon Musk replied, Moving lumber was removed only in the front passenger seat of the 30Y, obviously not there in the rear seats. Logs showed almost no usage, not worth cost or mass for everyone when almost never used. Prices are increasing due to major supply chain price pressure industry-wide, raw materials especially. For context, the lumbar support is an inflatable and movable balloon deep in the front chairs of the Model 3 and Y, and these provide physical support to the lower back, which make them especially handy for long and bumpy drives. The decision to remove lumbar support from the passenger side has been controversial as it was seemingly removed without notice, and most passengers tend to set it and forget it. And even if it's not used, you have to question the decision to remove such features from a car that cost north of $35,000. The other surprising omission was the removal of the much-rated radar sensor. In July 2016, Elon Musk stated in a tweet that good thing about radar is that, unlike LiDAR, it can see through rain, snow, fog and dust. However, in April this year, Musk stated in another tweet, when radar and vision disagree, which one do you believe? Vision has so much more precision, so better to double down on vision than to do sensor fusion. Sensors are a bitstream and cameras have several orders of magnitude more bits per second than radar or LiDAR. Radar must meaningfully increase signal-to-noise of bitstream to be worthy of complexity of integrating it. As vision processing gets better, it just leaves radar far behind. Since May, Tesla completed their U-turn on the usage of radar sensors in their cars and has gone on to state that it will be making use of Tesla vision. So what's unclear now is, would cars delivered from May have these features absent? And if not, when will they start to disappear? Now, I received the Made in China Model 3 as is coming with 2021 Tesla shipped to the UK. So please bear in mind that results may differ according to the region you order from. And upon checking, it turns out I do have the lumbar support in the passenger seat, which is reassuring. Now, my wife tends to sit in the passenger side and she was unaware of the lumbar support feature. And whilst I don't quite buy Tesla's reasoning for doing so, maybe that says something about the decision to remove it from the cars going forward. With regards to radar, this feature is less important as whether or not the sensor is physically present in the car, I expect it will be deactivated soon. However, I did check by bringing up controls at the bottom of the screen, selecting autopilot, and then scrolling down to view the option emergency lane departure avoidance. If your car has this feature, then you have a functioning radar sensor, at least for the time being. So does your car have these features? Let me know in the comments below so we can start a conversation. Also, I'd just like to say a massive thank you to everyone who's been liking and subscribing. Please continue to do so because it helps the channel to grow. I'll see you in the next video.